Hello everybody, it's Mad Cat Spear, and I want to upload this video to talk about something that is um, very truthful. I believe it to be very truthful. In the day and age that we live in, um, we're still in the in the dark ages in terms of psychonesis and and understanding spirituality and all that. And I want to upload the video to talk to you guys about, frankly, the truth of the matter is, or the certain things of our abilities. We all have the ability to be able to do anything you want to do, whether it be in filmmaking, or whether it be in, uh, in acting, or whether it be music, or in sports, or in science, or anything you want to do in art, painting, or whatever. You can do whatever you want to do, you put your mind to it, and if you have passion for it, you can excel at it. Now the thing is though, is that that being said, is that in terms of psychonesis, psychonesis is quite problematic in the day and age that we live in, because, um, especially for me, um, I never had an innate ability to do it. I never had any uh, any instances when I was young that an object just moved for no reason when I was by it or when I was staring at it. And it wasn't until in 2015 when I uh, stumbled upon uh, Trevor Seven that I started to develop it and, under, and understand my ability to do it. And so um, what I'm trying to say is that um, the day and age that we live in, psychonesis is very hard for a lot of us to grasp and it's very hard for us to understand and it's not something that is a physical it is something that is um is in invisible you know it's a spiritual thing it's a spiritual connection with an object you know and um we have a more of a chance we have more of a chance to develop psychic abilities than psychokinesis we have more of a chance to develop superhuman strength the psychokinesis. We have more of a chance to develop invincibility in psychokinesis. And that, that's the truth. And the reason why is because in the day and age that we live in, the psychokinesis is not fully understood by the masses and by the media. It is not something that you can learn like in terms of weight loss. Everyone knows every type of technique under the sun how to lose weight. But in terms of psychonese abilities we're still in the dark ages so um i'm just telling you guys that the easiest thing for us to tangibly grasp and to understand is um is superhuman strength invincibility and psych uh, is uh psychic abilities having clairvoyance having premonitions being able to predict uh, predict the future those types of things um, are more easier for us to to master and to grasp and to attain than psychonesis because uh, um, I try to make videos to uh, teach you guys how to do psychonesis and to move side wheels or roll cans and I will uh, upload a better video to, uh, to roll cans how I did my rolling cans but um, psychonesis I'm not saying that it's impossible to do it I'm not saying that you guys cannot do it if I can do it you can do it but what I'm trying to say is that psychonesis is still something that is very um, misunderstood and is not um, um, mass in, in the terms in terms of mass social media is not fully ingrained yet to where we can just pick it up and understand the gist of it you know in the day and age in the in, in the age that we live in now we have more of a chance to flip over a vehicle with their bare hands than we do with psychonese abilities and slight and upright cut. We have more of ability to uh, withstand or stop a knife coming down at your chest and not it stabbing you through your rib cage than you do have a psychonesis. You know, that that's the truth of the matter is that is that because we are not um, fully prepared to understand uh, because psychonesis requires more subtlety it, it, it requires a certain approach to it that doesn't um need you to be aggressive you know and and the human race since we've been alive um we in certain terms of men we approach things in terms of an aggressive way everything is physical we grab things and we move them and we aggressively emotionally grab and move forward as men we move forward and um, in psychonesis, it's a total new radical um, way to approach moving an object, like rolling cans and sliding cups and moving side wheels. It's a subtle, soft, delicate, emotional balance of self to do it. And so it becomes problematic because it's something that's new, but it's 
It's something that's not new. It's ancient, but it's new again for us. And so what I'm trying to say is that you have more of a chance to, to develop psychic abilities. You have more of a chance to be a medium, to speak to spirits, to, to do psychonesis in the day and age. I'm not saying that you cannot move uh, cups, because if I'm able to do it, roll cans and everything, you can or spin a hanging footrest or whatever. But what I'm trying to say is that because we lack so much information about it, even though I upload videos and the videos that I upload to teach you guys are really good. But the thing is though, is that there's not enough um, people doing it to build confidence for the masses to just get the gist of it, to just do it. So what I'm trying to say is that you guys have more ability to be a medium, to speak to spirits, and you have more ability to be invincible to stop a bullet even, or a knife stabbing your chest or an arm and withstand it without bleeding. You have more of an, a chance to flip over a car with your bare hands, physically pick a car up and flip it over than you do having psychonesis. And, it, and it's only because um, it's, it's only because we don't understand it enough and we only know our own physical bodies. We don't understand the spiritual side of it. And it's only because we don't know enough of it. That, that's what it is. But in the future, we will be able to know enough of it. We will be able to get the gist of it. It'll become more easier. But for right now, what I'm trying to say is that you have more of a chance to flip over a vehicle with your bare hands. You have more of a chance to be invincible against a punch in the face or a knife in the chest or a bullet in the chest than you are to do psychonesis at this moment in time in this era. You know, so it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. You know, having the ability, superhuman strength, you know, if you, it, it, it's uh, much more tangible and much more easier to grasp for the, for the, basically um, the people in this time and place. It's, it's easier for us to understand for us as the people in this era that we live in. In the future, a few years from now, 10 or 20 years, we will understand the gist of psychonesis and everybody will be doing it more easier. But for right now, being able to flip the vehicle, being invincible, those things are still awesome, okay? Being able to flip a car with your bare hands is just as badass as sliding a cup with your mind. Being able to withstand a knife to the chest is just as badass as sliding, up, uh, sliding over a cup or rolling a can, as you see me do. And, and I, I'm, I'm on this video because I'm trying to be truthful with you guys, I'll tell you guys the truth that the reality is that because of the limitations of our understanding of psychonesis, Right now, all that we can do really is just to up, uh, obtain and master physical strength, invincibility, and psychic abilities of premonition and clairvoyance at this very moment. And it's only because we need to still study psychonesis, understand ourselves, understand objects, understand um, um, our emotions more, to look within ourselves more, to, to look at, at our life more of a delicate manner. To look at it more of a delicate um, lens, to be patient, to wait, to observe, to to learn, to understand, to approach things more of a soft way instead of physical. That's the truth of it, is that it requires us to step back and to think in a different layer in which we're looking at now. Everything is physical and aggression. And so we need to step back and we need to observe our life in a way that is much more delicate and soft and subtle in order for us to understand psychonesis and to master it. And until then, all we can do, all that we can do for now, that we can do, I believe that we can do, we're already doing it. You see monks online, you know, putting a drill to his head and withstanding it. You could withstand a knife to the chest, a drill to the skull. You could flip over a vehicle with your bare hands invincibility you know that's a drill to the skull you could uh speak to spirits you could have clairvoyance and predict the future and have premonitions those things right now those are tangible we can master those but for psychonesis it's gonna take a little bit more time i can do those things and uh I, I and i try to upload videos to teach you guys but for right now um for you guys that are new and everything you know try to look toward physical um abilities Try to develop invincibility. Try to develop superhuman strength. You know, try to lift over weights that are heavier than you. You know, don't hurt yourself, but it's more of a, 
uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a mixture of self and the physical and everything, and try to focus on mediumship and things like that. Those are the things that we can do now. And until then, we can work ourselves toward being master of psychonesis. And it's only because we don't understand it. It's old but new, but it takes time. And, you know, um, I try to teach you guys what I can do. What I show is real. And I try to teach you guys what I can do. This is what I'm trying to say is that it takes time. For right now, we can only be invincible and flip over cars. So with your bare hands. So it's not bad, but those are things you look forward to. Mediumship and clairvoyance and psychic abilities. Look into those things and you'll gradually work yourself into understanding psychonesis. Mr. Richard says, but it is Mad Cat's really is watching.